Welcome into the recap of the Cubs' second consecutive blowout victory over the Cincinnati Reds at Wrigley Field. I'm David Kaplan. First of all, quick COVID update. Feeling a lot better today. So thanks for all the kind tweets and texts and emails. I really appreciate it. Uh, today was the first day I felt more like myself. Uh, let's get on to a lot of news around the Cubs today. First of all, Jason Hayward to the injured list with a knee situation that David Ross is saying uh, is going to be a problem. It's not something that's going to resolve itself overnight. So my take, he may have played his final game ever in a Cubs uniform. And here's why I say that. If it's not going to resolve itself quickly, it sounds to me like a lengthy stint on the injured list. Okay, a lengthy stint to me is a month. Well, at that point, we're basically at the trade deadline, which is August 2nd this year. Why would you bring him back to play then the last two months? At what, for what reason? At what point do you go, Jason, we love you dearly. You want a job in the organization? You got one. You're going to go down in Cubs lore for the speech and the gold gloves and being a great dude and awesome in the community. All of it. For what reason would you bring him back to play? He's done. He's not a good player anymore. It is what it is. He's aged. He's not healthy. It is what it is. They have a bunch of kids that deserve opportunities. Christopher Morrell, four hits tonight. You get a triple gold star, man. Four for four. Got to play him. They brought a kid up from the minors today. Got his first major league hit. Crook, I don't know if he has a future. Let's find out. Let him play. Nelson Velasquez, another guy. Let him play. Just keep running kids in there. And at the end of the season, for me, if you're part of a bad team. At the end of the year, the one thing you should know is who the hell was on your roster and do they have a future going forward? You either take your red pen, you go, nope, or check, we can keep that dude. Jason Hayward's not part of your future. That's just a fact. Kyle Hendricks talked to Tim Stevens yesterday from NBC Sports Chicago. Tim asked him about rumors that he could be included in a trade or he could be coveted by a contender. He said it would surprise him. He doesn't want to go anywhere, but it is a business. Look, he pitched great in St. Louis over the weekend. You wanted to see him stack another really good start on it? He did just that. Cubs are winning as I'm taping this. It's 12 to 4. 12 to 4. Uh, Christopher Morrell uh, is 5 for 5 now while I'm talking to you. He just hit a home run to the moon. And it is a blowout. So let's keep playing the kids. Let's keep figuring out what is going on with this team. And at the end, try and get Wilson Contreras signed. Did you hear the guy last night? He was on with Taylor McGregor uh, from Marquee in the post-game interview. And he said, that was my 600th hit. I hope I get another 1,000 in a Cubs uniform. The guy wants to be here. He can be a DH. You can play him in left field. He can back up at first base. And obviously, he can catch. He's going to start the All-Star game. Guy can flat out play and he wants to be here. So for me, five years, 100 million, here you go. Take it, kid. We want to keep you. Uh, but we'll see what the Cubs end up doing. So that's the news from tonight. Also, five gold stars, Patrick Wisdom, two home runs tonight, six RBIs. He had a grand slam. Uh, he had a solo home run and he had a big, big night. But five hit night. First Fight it game by a Cubs rookie since September 25, 2008, Michael Hoffpower. Now, that didn't work out well. I like this Christopher Morrell kid. I really, really like him. So we'll see how it all works out. Thanks for watching the recap. Don't forget to send your emails in, R-E-K-A-P at thecapman.com. Just say I want to be entered. And when we hit 5,000 subscribers, we're almost at 3,000. I'll pull a name, random, and you'll win a 70-inch TV from Apt Electronics or one of two $100 gift cards to Lou Malnati's Take Your Family to Dinner. Have a great rest of your night. Appreciate you. Take that.